So this is the first update on that Pandas Eyeshadows project that I'm doing, uh, the one where I picked six random numbers with a number generator and assigned them to colors that are in my collection to try to put ten uses on each one of them. I thought it would go much faster than it did. I thought it would take me maybe a month to hit ten on all of them. Maybe two months. <laughs> it took me three. But to be fair, there was a lot of days where I just didn't wear any makeup at all. So, I mean, that added to the time quite a bit, because if I don't want to, I'm not going to, or if my eyes are bothering me that day, I'm clearly not going to put something on them that might aggravate them, so, you know, it's just one of those things, and bad allergy days, especially getting into spring, yeah, there, there's quite a few days where I'm like, this is not worth it, like, honestly, they're itchy right now, so I'm like, today probably won't be one, to be fair, but, like, yeah, it took a lot longer than I thought it would to do the first update, but to be fair, when I was very first starting it, I was trying to wear them one at a time. Like an idiot. Then it dawned on me, hey, you could wear more than one of them at a time. Why did I not think of this sooner? I don't know. Why didn't it dawn on me sooner that I could also combine them with other new ones that I was trying out? Don't know, but now that I figured that out, it'll probably be faster for whenever the next update hits, but we'll see. That could be famous last words too, who freaking knows, but anyway. So, thankfully I did think to record short little clips of the before with each of the colors so you could see where we were progress-wise in the pans. And I'm also going to film afters put, to put in just after each one to show, like, just the visible differences in each of those pans. So I'm going to include this here. If I had the capability of doing picture-in-picture -picture in my videos, which I don't because I don't have that kind of software, but if I did, I would just like put it up in this corner and talk over it, but I don't, so we got to make do with what we got. So this is how I'm doing it, at least for now. So here you go. So here's what the first shade looks like before. It's the middle bottom one. Tilt it around so you can see the dip in it. On khaki shiver, we've got like a nice dip going in there now. Like you can really see it. And initially, when I first rolled it in, I thought I hated this color because I just didn't know how to wear it properly. Because on its own, it's so dingy, grungy, dirty looking. But this project forced me to get creative with it and pair it with things I otherwise would have overlooked. So now I actually love this one. So see, this project is a success. Here's our other green shade before, well, mostly before, uh, this is after the first use and then I remembered, wait, I, I still need to do this, so pretty darn close to before. So this one for Gallows Lava has like a nice dip in it now too, like you can't even see the letter that used to be embossed on it anymore, that's totally gone. It's got a fairly deep dip. Honestly, I thought... I thought I was maybe gonna hit pan in this one with just the 10 uses, but nah, didn't quite go through. But I think this one is a very shallow pan, because even from the side, this is not a deep compact, so the pan has to be even shallower than that, so don't know just how deep it is, but if it gets rolled into another one, would not be surprised if we hit pan on it. This one's a little harder. It's got two shades in it we're doing. Coal and meringue. So meringue before doesn't have a lot of use in it yet. And coal. That one has a little, a little dip in it, but not much yet. Okay, I can't remember if I filled the two in the Naughty palette together or separate, so I'll do them separate. But yeah, for meringue, even though I used it ten times, I mean, you can tell that it's been scratched into, and it had been used some before this project. Not a lot, because it doesn't really show up very much on me, but yeah, I did use it the ten times, although, again, you would never really frickin' know. It's not a very deep dip on this one. So, it's the weird thing, the difference between shimmers and mattes. It seems to be a huge differential. Same deal with the color coal. I'm trying to hold it in the light to show if there is literally any type of dip at all, but this color it's really hard <laughs> but just even to the naked eye in front of me it's not really much anything like honestly though honestly honestly this is pretty flat it looks largely untouched but it got used just as many times as everything else 
I don't know. Okay, so crushing is the color in this one. Uh, here's our before. So it's not got a huge dip in it yet. It's one of the few colors in this palette that doesn't have a big old dip in it. Uh, irony. Which is funny, but like the matteness of it, I guess, means that it doesn't take as much to go as far. But that's our before. Okay, so the color crushing, you can definitely see a nice deep dip in that one. To be fair, that one had a dip before we even started on this project because this is like one of my favorite shades in this palette. But like, just look at that. I for sure, especially where like the powder is beaded up, I thought for sure I was going to hit pan on that last use. Because even after I hit the 10 uses, I kept going with this one because I just really like that orangey shade. But... Uh, didn't quite hit it, but I think we are close on that one. Only our last shade, this little red guy right here. Um, hardly a dip in it yet. So that's our before. Okay, and the hot salsa one honestly surprised me because this one, technically it's a shimmer a little bit. A little bit. It's kind of halfway between matte with a little bit of shimmer in it. But this one, you don't see much of a dip. And I used a crap ton of this. Like, I would argue I used more of this one than I did of that orange one. So, like, why does this one not show, like, at all? It is the weirdest thing. So, I think got a pretty nice dent on most of those. A few of them don't really look like shit, but anyway, we're gonna pull up the number generator. And we're gonna roll six more numbers, and we're gonna see what colors those correlate with. So, gotta do the numbers first, then I will go see what they associate with. So we have 34, if you can see that. <laughs> 81. Boy, this is hard to show on screen. 38. I'm sus. <laughs> 151. Oh, that one shows perfect. Three. How many is that? Four? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I need one more. And 23. So let me go see what those correlate with, and I will report back on what those colors are and see what my newest little palette that I'll be playing with looks like. Okay, so I went and I looked up what the colors were, and thank uh, thank God we have no repeats from last time. I think I would have cried if it had done that, like, this soon. I know it's inevitable it'll happen again at some point in the future, but just for right now, I would have been so pissed. But anyway, so the first color it rolled is again from the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. Shocker! And it's the Mint Matte shade. So it's interesting because I was just showing my sister that progress on that bottom one. She's like, that's like basically 10 uses. She's like, that one? I'm like, no, no, this one. She's like, wow, these two don't even look used. I'm like, and now that I've rolled the new numbers, I'm like, the irony that she picked up those two, they both got rolled. <laughs> but Mint Matte is that one that is up in the middle on top right there. So I will swatch that out for you. Kind of wimpy. Let's do that better. Okay, so this one's gonna be a challenge, I can tell. But I mean, we're in springtime. This is the time for those light baby pastels, right? Light right now. So let me get another makeup wipe. I should have kept the one from earlier. I did not think ahead. But um, yeah, honestly, that is like a perfect springtime shade. I was sad that I didn't roll it last time because I thought it'd be great as like a wintry color, just have like a nice soft pastel. But I got it now, so close enough. So that's the first color. Now the second color, you have no idea how happy I am I rolled it. It's from the Kiate London Trend Edit Palette. And it's in the color Baby, which happens to be my favorite shade in this palette. So yes, yes. Thank the Lord. So I'm just so stupid happy. This one already has a nice dent in it to start with, but can we talk about how beautiful that is? It's nice and soft. It just, I love that color so freaking much. And it's such an unexpected shade that so many people sleep on, but like, I love that one so much. 
So we've got that one going on. Our third shade is back to the Emerald Obsessions palette. <laughs> Apparently that number generator really likes it, and it is in Emerald Matte, which honestly I am in love with. So it's like this jungle green. So there's already two that can play nice together as like a shaded effect. So we've got those, which is like so far really good all across the board. And now we're back to the Naughty Palette! <laughs> this time we got Misbehave. And when I looked at what the color was, I was like, oh, I don't know how that's gonna go with these. But I think it'll be fine, actually, now that I'm swatching these out. So it's like this kind of marigold yellow. Yeah, that kind of works. Kind of, sort of. Now this one I initially cringed until I actually went and saw which one it was, but it is the Elf Cookies and Dreams No Budge Eyeshadow Stick in Chill Zone Relax. But it's that really light blue one, so I was like, actually, if it had to be one of these, I'm kind of glad it's this one. So, this has options. So, we've got that. It's going to be a challenge because that's a cream and the rest are all powders. So I'm not sure how this is going to go pairing that with the others. Might be one I wear on its own. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll play around with it. Maybe I'll learn new tricks. I don't freaking know. But again, we'll see. We'll see. And then finally, the last color. Where the hell did it go? Here it is. Is from the Lower East Side Eyeshadow Palette. The Punk Rock Palette. And it's just the fourth color in it because there's no color names on these. So it's like this metallic kind of peachy shade in there, kind of peachy coral. I like this one if I seem to remember. I haven't used this palette in freaking forever. So actually it'd be nice to have an excuse to use it. But yeah, like honestly, these colors go. Like this is a nice springy palette. I think I officially win at life with this project right now. I'm like, I am so behind this. This is great. So. I'm very happy with these. This should be much easier to use with them being so nice and light. Plus, I mean, I don't have to just use them together. I can use them with whatever else I'm wearing at the same time, too, and it'll add, like, a nice springy pop of color to it, too. So I'm pretty happy with these. What about you guys? I don't know, but I'm pretty stoked here. So anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. <laughs> Excuse me. If you... Oh my god, I forgot my own sign-off because I coughed. <laughs> but anyway, uh, subscribe if you're not already. Hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.